And uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce Mike Schilt for his statement. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. Um, Commission, I don't think we're going to get into rotations today. Um, sorry to disappoint you on that one, partner. Um, but I do want to uh, take this opportunity to thank everyone for the opportunity to uh, wrap up my very blessed 18 year career with the St. Louis Cardinals. I'd like to start by sharing my gratitude to all the players that I've had the privilege to scout, coach, and manage. My primary purpose in my 13 years in player development and five years in the big leagues was to help players realize and get the most out of their God-given talent. I'm thankful to have been part of these players' journeys and beyond baseball, I hope they know how much I care for them. I love you all and respect you very much. Next, my sincere gratitude to the St. Louis Cardinals organization who took a chance on an eager young baseball man and developed him into, into a man that I am today. It would be irresponsible if I didn't mention the many people who taught me the Cardinal way, although I'm sure I'll be omitting someone. I have a special place in my heart and will be eternally grateful for the love, support of Freddie McAllister, Mr. George Kissel, David Ricketts, Jim Riggleman, Mark Riggins, Galen Pitts, the Chief, Derek Lilliquist, Steve Turco, John Vooch, John Vooch, Scott Smolzinski, and the Major League staff that was with me most of the time, and Tony La Russa, Dave Duncan, Joe Patini, Dave McKay, C.J. Cherry, and, of course, close mentors and friends of mine and Gary LaRock and my man, Mr. Mark D. John. Of course, I'd also like to be grateful for the opportunity to get to know and to be taught from some of the best baseball people in the world from a major league side, Mr. Bob Gibson, Lou Brock, Red Shane Deist, Whitey Herzog, Ozzie Smith, Bruce Suter, Jason Isringhausen, Chris Carpenter, Mike Shannon, Joe Torrey, Jim Edmonds, and Albert Pujols, many of which, or all of which that are alive, have reached out and wished me nothing but the best. I'm grateful for that. This group and others invested in me and taught me what it takes in all areas to achieve at the highest level. The conversations were full of wisdom, encouragement, accountability, and at times, some hard to truths and tough love. At every turn, regardless of how challenging the conversations were, it was always about what's best for the Cardinals and the St. Louis Cardinals organization and maintaining the very high standards of the organization, both on and off the field. I'm so grateful for the trust and opportunity I had in our player development department in the 13 years I was a part of it. A couple highlights being in 2007 at the end of instructional league, sitting down at the head of the table as John Mazalot came in after recently named the general manager and informed our department that we were now going to rely on our homegrown talent even more and our future was our farm system. It was a privilege to help shepherd our system and reward that trust with players that came up and contributed to another era of successful Cardinals baseball. It was a player development department that won the 2011 and 2013 organizational uh, minor league baseball organizations of the year. Quite a tribute to our players, but also a, to our cohesive staff. Another highlight was working with Mark DeJohn and Gary LaRock, among others, in an, on an organizational field manual that captured the teachings of the recently departed, departed and the legendary George Kissel. It's something that I'll always take great pride in and know that I left the, the instructional aspect of organization in good hands. Also, I'd like to thank the organization for the opportunity to coach and manage at the major league level, starting with the DeWitt family and the ownership group, along with Mo and his front office staff. I will always be very, very appreciative of your trust in me. I'm also very grateful for Mike Matheny allowing me the opportunity to be on his staff and giving me a chance at the major league level to start that chapter of my career. Hmm. Speaking of staffs, it's a wonderful opportunity to thank the staff I've been blessed to compete with over the last three and a half seasons. One of the, one of the unbelievable, amazing things about this staff was the fact that how long we were able to cut our teeth and strive together. Pop, Gertie, Jeff, Ollie, Jabelle, and Willie 
I got the privilege of working with you in the minor league system before we got the chance to work together at the big league level. I was fortunate to, enough to coach and manage Ollie, KT, and Packy in the minor leagues, and they were a huge asset for what we were able to accomplish at the big league level, especially Ollie, who has my deepest and most trusted respect. Had the privilege in, uh, and, and of working with a uh, stud of a baseball man and pitching coach in Mike Maddox and a wealth of baseball wisdom in Chad Blair, head of our video department. Also, Stubby Clapp, Dusty Blake, and Jamie Pogue, whose hard work and loyalty I'm grateful for. Thanks all of you for everything you did and being all in for our team and our organization. Also, my appreciation for the medical performance, kitchen, clubhouse, and traveling staff, as they did an amazing job to serve our players and staff. You guys are all first class. I also want to thank the group that's in front of me now, the media. Um, it was a privilege to work together with you, and I was always uh, grateful for our time together, sometimes more um, so than others. <laughs> um, but I will say this, I, can, I don't know if you always liked what I said or agreed with it, and that's fine, and that's, I'm comfortable with that. Um, but I respect you all, and I wanted to make sure you know that I did my best to help you do your jobs. I also need to be very grateful for the rights holders and the people that I know had my back and supported me through KMOX, the flagship station of the Cardinals for years. Mr. John Rooney, Ricky Horton, Mike Claiborne, and Mike Shannon, I'm indebted to your support. And on the Bailey side, um, Danny Mack, Jim Evans, Brad Thompson, and Jim Hayes have always been there and I'm grateful for our relationship. I'm also most grateful. There's no crying in baseball. Um, for my beautiful and supportive wife, uh, Michelle, and my amazing stepdaughters. Laura Grace and Madison. Um, they have been amazing support for me over the last three years and beyond rocks for me during this challenging um, transition and um, part of my life. I have the best wife in the world who I love deeply and has been beside me my whole way and is my best friend. I can't thank you enough and I look you. So I have done my very every turn to be a, care, a good caretaker of the Cardinals legacy. I invest my heart, soul, and most of my professional career in helping maintain and be a part of being an organization that I cared more about than I cared about my own career. I was taught not to talk out of school. And while clearly there were differences that led to this parting of ways, out of respect for the organization, the people that run it, I can only express my gratitude and all the, all the philosophies that were shared over the many years, most of which together, um, allowed us to part ways as, as professional friends. And um, that will be left said. And what, what differences there were um, will be left to remain unsaid publicly by me. I respect and hope that any rumors or, or um, windows that are out there can be left to just, let's move forward and let's take care of uh, maintaining the integrity of the future of the organization. Speaking of the future, I'm at, at peace with the way I've left the players and the staff in a very positive position. I'm excited for the team in 2020. As for me, I look forward to uh, connecting with my family and growing new relationships that we have. And I definitely look forward to the next opportunity in baseball, which I'm sure will be many, and help grow the players and our great game that we all love dearly. So I would defer to um, everything I've just said. I haven't had a great wrap-up statement here um, other than to thank you, love you, 
and appreciate all of you. Um, and let's move forward and let's continue to grow together. And uh, I wish everyone on this call all the best. Thankful for the support. God bless.